Sir, good afternoon. Excuse me, could you please give me some flowers? They are for my mom. She is leaving the hospital, and she likes these flowers very much. I sell them, not give them away. I understand. Thank you very much. Couldn't you give me some flowers as a gift? They are for my mother. She is leaving the hospital. I would like to surprise her with a bouquet. You have money? No, I don't have any money. Then I can't give you the flowers. Well, it's okay. Thank you very much. Excuse me. Good afternoon. Sorry to bother you. Do you think you could give me a bouquet of flowers? It's just that my mom just got out of the hospital and I want to surprise her. But if you can't, don't worry. Thank you very much. Is it possible? Yes, it's fine. Yes? Yeah, look. The one you want, the one you like. No, you... Your choice? This one? Is this one okay? Because look, it's got a teddy bear in it. Are you sure? Yeah, sure, that one's fine. Or the one you want, the one you think is prettier. Or the cheapest one, it's okay. No, it doesn't matter. Look, maybe, no, look at this one. Oh, look at this pretty one. It has three roses. It's very pretty. Are you sure? Yes, really, and then what's your mom sick? Well, she has diabetes, high blood pressure. She has seizures all of a sudden. Convulsions and... With this, she's going to be very happy because I'm going to take them to her. Well, yes, don't worry. They are very nice. Well, sometimes you right? can't bring money, right? Exactly, and today it was my turn. Today it was my turn not to bring any money, and you helped me. But let's see, I want to ask to you, why did you help me? Why are you giving them to me? Why did you say yes? I remembered my, my mommy. Did you remember your mommy? What happened? What happened to her? Three years ago. She passed away. Oh, don't tell me that. I'm really sorry. Sometimes I had the same problem, and I had no money to help her. And get her back on her feet, but... What did your mother pass away from? It's just that she had a bad heart. She had a bad heart? Listen, I'm really sorry, I'm really... Well... Look. Don't take what I am going to tell you the wrong way. It is just that... My mother is not sick. No, don't get upset, please. Don't get angry. I saw that I changed Nobody your face. I I'm doing it in a good way, but why did you... No, look, I'll explain. This is a social experiment. Here, take your flowers. Shall I give them back to you so you can sell them? But she isn't sick? No, no, no. In fact, my mom is not sick. It's a social experiment. I'm getting people to... I am looking for... people who have the empathy to help others. And you, without thinking or hesitating. You gave me the flowers and... Well, it really touched my heart. And I am very sorry to know that your mother is no longer here among us. And I offer you an apology in truth. It's just that when I have the opportunity, I bring flowers to her to the cemetery. Every time you can, you take them flowers to the cemetery? Yes. Every chance I get. Well, and that's why I wanted to give them to you. But if it's not true, it's okay, don't worry. No, look, the truth is that you touched my heart, and wow, you filled my eyes with tears and my heart with a lot of feeling, and I want to, for this good deed you have done with me. Who do you live with? Tell me about it. Well, alone. I live alone. Alone? Yes. Yes? Tell me, how long have you been selling flowers? Well, maybe. About, like, 20 years, I think. 20 years selling flowers? Yes. This business, I guess, was a family business, or... Well, yeah, or why just, did you start it? No, my mother and I, well, both of us always... Ah, uh, your mom worked always, here with you, I too? I always helped her, and... Well, yes. But then she left, didn't she? And I stayed with... with the flower shop. Wow! Hey! You lives alone, and is that I told you at the beginning that I want to reward you. No, it's not. 
Yes, of course I want to. I want to reward you for your good deed. These flowers for me, these flowers that you gave me for me are worth, they are worth a lot. And today, God, really, really, they are worth a lot. Today, God came to you here with you because you told me yes, you told me yes, so I want to reward you. Do you think we can leave your little place here alone in charge with someone to give you some surprises I have for you? I don't, I'm ashamed. No, why? No, no, on the contrary. Shame is steal and be caught. That's a reason to be shamed. I am really offering you for your good deed, for your good heart. Would you like to join me? Okay, fine. Yes? yes just let me tell them to take care of my flowers. Okay, sure. Wait for me a moment. But here, keep this. Keep it too. Why do you live alone? Well, I never get married, I don't know. Why didn't you get married and find the love of your life? No, I had a boyfriend, but... What happened with that boyfriend? He didn't want to marry me. No? Look, on that side there's more pantry. Let's get more groceries. Look, can I get one of these? Yes, throw it. And so you live alone? Yes. Look. This is the first surprise I had for you, which was to bring you here to the supermarket so you could do the pantry. Because I know that you live alone so that you are not struggling and selling your flowers and what you get. I imagine that you invest it to, well, to buy some food, something to eat. So really, it is yours. Okay. Really, it is totally yours. This is the first surprise. But we are going to pay. And I have another one out there. How about that? With this is fine. No, I have another one. Will you come with me? Okay. Yeah. That's it. That's the way I like it. I like that smile. Come on, let's go. The first surprise you gave me was to give me that bouquet of flowers. And I wanted to give it back to you with a pantry. For you, you told me that you live alone. That you live there in your little house and you have a little pantry. And I am very sorry about your mother. It really hit me in the heart. And look, just for the good deed you had with me. Because you, you said yes to me. And the other people, well, they all said no. I want to give you this gift. The second surprise, this little box. I want you to open it. I want you to see what is inside and that it is totally for you. Do you but want it? Is that I'm getting embarrassed? No, why? Open it. It is for you totally. Open it, really? Open it! Sure, 100%. Open it. Well, thank you. Go ahead, please. Come on, just look. How about that? No, but no. No what? No, why? No, 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 it's yours. It's yours, look. It's yours. What's in here is yours. Just look. This, it's yours. This wad of bills. You earned it. You earned it for your good deed. For having given me that bouquet of flowers that you gave me without hesitation. You gave it to me. But what for? No, no. You don't have to. I don't deserve it. I mean, I don't, I don't need anything. No, you deserve it for your good heart. You deserve it for... Because you said yes to me. Because without hesitation, you gave me this bouquet. Take it. It's for you. I give it to you. I give it to you as a gift. And I didn't send it to you, nor my team. God sent it to you just for having a good heart. I think that maybe my mother sent it to me. And yes, precisely because, let's see, the question here is the following. Why you? Why did you say yes? Your mother knows the needs you're going through. And she decided to send you. And it's for you. It's $400.
which I want you to spend. Can I give you a hug? Of course you can. All the best. Thank you. Thanks to you, let's go on selling flowers, come on.